In the case of kitchen suppression system, we are aware that it is LPCP certified and therefore while doing the installation, design and installation, we need to follow the guidelines given by LPCB. Once the installation is completed on the premise, we need to ensure that it is verified, the installation is verified by an authorized person. To do so, we need to complete an activity of handover process. To reach that handover process through the CRM, we need to get into the after we've reached the dashboard of the CRM, we need to get into the tab called as task with a task installation task. Now here we have the physical stock. As you can see, there are two as now here what you can see that the handover process has two parts, live and training. When the BOQ has been submitted by the design team, we can push the BOQ for training purpose for handover process. Once it is pushed, we can practice on how to do the handover process using the training part. Once we are comfortable, only then we should go into the live to do the uh, actual handover process. Both the processes are identical. So to show you how, let me start with the training process. The first thing we need to do is we need to move the physical stock into the um, process where we are saying that the installation is being done or has been done. So physical stock, there's a go button next to it, we click that. Once we have started with the handover process and let's say we need to stop somewhere in between. To go back into the same process again, we will use the in progress part of it, which will take us back to the same one. Let's say, let's click on go over here. Now, the project name that we need to take, let's say is PS012345. That is the project, that is the prospect code for the kitchen suppression system installation that we had done. The assignment needs to be done to one of the technician or the technical people who have got trained by ceasefire on the kitchen suppression system. Then we come to number of systems. The, for sample sake, I've taken one. Click on go. How many cylinder valves? One. Uh, how many, uh, what is the serial number of that cylinder? Let's say 6543212345. This is the cylinder number. For installation address, you may give a reference here or you may choose to give a postcode and give the proper address as well. Let's say I'm giving the reference and I'm saying customer 1. You can give any reference number here, uh, provided of course that you know what the reference, which customer this is referring to at any point in time in case an audit happens. So save and next. The data is saved and we come into this page where we see the project code, the project name, the name of the organization that is the CBA organization, number of system and the installation address which has a reference name. Go to detail action. Here added are the number of cylinder, status, processing date. Let's click on action once again and you will find that three different tabs open up. Task type remains training till such time we are comfortable and choose to work on the live process. Now, the first is quality checklist, second is testing and commissioning and the third tab here is photos and videos. In each one of these, there are certain set of statements that we need to go through. We need to respond with a feedback and each one of these statements should be taken care of. Let us start with the first quality checklist. Now, how would we do this? Read the statement statement by statement. Click on the plus sign. If what you've done is in agreement with the statement here, the guideline mentioned here, click on feedback. This says yes. Now you need not give a remark. However, 
if in any case you do not agree with this statement here that means your um, installation is not in accordance with the statement here please give the response as the response differently and i'll show you how in some cases as in cylinder pressure when you click on the plus sign you will be required to make enter a number or a word or something here so in this case it's a number saying what is the cylinder pressure you need not give a remark here however let's take an example where we say delivery network is in alignment with shop floor drawing click and here you do not agree with this there is a change from the shop floor drawing mail set so this is not in accordance with the shop floor drawings you have sent a mail for the reason why okay and in this case the feedback is at no it's only when you give the feedback as no that the remarks become mandatory similarly now please go statement by statement and fill all the balance as you can see here all the statements have been catered to and they have changed from blue color to black color uh, so from black color to blue color once all of this is taken into account click on next and you come to the testing and commissioning statements go into each one of them and see uh, give your response the same way as we did for quality checklist i am saying in this case all is fine we've given the feedback for each one of them next we come to the pictures now for the pictures that we have mentioned here it is essential that we must have the list of pictures ready in some place so let me get into the handover process here you see i have all the photographs for kitchen suppression system which i had i the cba had clicked when i was uh, installing the uh, system i have clicked the entire set of photographs as i've learned during my technical training program and i have also clicked a video of the whole thing now there are two ways in which i can actually upload these pictures let's see both hood and kitchen equipment let me click on the first one here to see what kind of pictures once you are doing the training you must go through all the sample pictures here which will show you what are the different views that you can click so you have sample of the pictures that have been clicked how do you upload it click on new document click on choose file handover process kss photo kss is where my picture is note that when i was creating when i was putting this pictures in the folder i named each one of the pictures appropriately and gave them a serial number as well this is the first picture that i need to upload i click on the picture open you can see here that it says photo 1 hood and kitchen equipment dot jpg upload here the file has got uploaded successfully click on okay the file has got uploaded now back how do i click how do i do the next one let's see there's a slight dif uh, different way also another way in which i can do so now for that i need the photographs so let me reach the photograph number 2 here this is photograph number 2 let me pull this on to the side over here new document take the photo number 2 pull it and drop it into this drop box you know that it comes here as photo 2 upload this file has got uploaded successfully back similarly you need to upload all the photographs here uploading each photograph is mandatory 
the last is a video and need to you need to complete the video part of it that means you need to click a 2 3 minute video and upload that video over here now that we've seen that everything here is filled all the photographs and videos have been uploaded plus if we go back we have completed the um testing and commissioning statements we've given all feedback here as well as given all the comments and feedback for quality checklist as well having completed this our next step would be to send for approval so you see the data has been sent for approval this means that this particular audit review data has been sent to the person who's going to review the entire system through the three tabs that we had seen so he will go through all the statements see if there's any deviation and why and also look at all the photographs and the video that we had uploaded based on his observation he will either approve or reject in case he rejects you will get a mail saying that the complete review has been rejected for the given reason you will get back into the crm the way you've done just now check and correct the statement and the installation where required make the changes in the um, task that you've just performed that is the review task basis your um, changes that you made and then send it back once again for review this time once again the auditor will check and accept or reject as the case may be this process will continue till such time that the audit is complete in that case you will find instead of this saying approval pending this will say completed or approved